Today we're going to be making the Rick and Morty face mask. Probably my favorite design to date. I think it looks really cool. So let's get right into it. All right, so the materials that we're gonna be needing are one, a reusable mask, two, a paint from the brand PBO or Pebeo. PBO set a color. We're gonna be using five main colors, bright yellow 301, 69 electric blue, 46 passion red, a white, uh, this is a 44 pearl, a black, which is a 19 black. And finally, this is a 90 portrait pink. Now you can't get away with not having a uh, skin tone. You can't produce it if you don't have this. These are the options if you have minimum set of colors. The main colors that we're gonna be needing are the three primary colors, as well as the black and white. But I use this one because I have it. But you can pretty much produce any color that you want with just these three colors, as well as the saturated with black and white towards the darker side or to the lighter side. So that's my logic behind the colors that I'm gonna be using next we're gonna be needing a chalk it's completely not necessary if you don't want to use it but I don't know any other material that is as temporary as a chalk or a charcoal or something like that so I recommend that you have it if you don't have it it's totally fine we don't need it all that much and it's not gonna be that useful anyway but still good to have it permanent markers get as many variations as you can they dry pretty quickly as well so be careful with that uh, so I recommend you get a marker for textile or fabric drawing and finally we're just gonna need a bowl a couple of of paint brushes preferably a big and small tip just to have variation as well so with that in mind let's get right into the video okay so the first thing that we're gonna do is paint in the green portal now the main color of the portal is green since I don't have green I had to mix the colors okay blue and yellow I don't recommend you mix a crap ton as you will see later I wasted a lot of green so I recommend you portion it don't go overboard with it try to add as least color in both of them because if you really think about it you're adding double of what you think is small so if you keep adding that all the time it's just gonna pile up so just you know keep that in mind even with my experience uh, mixing colors I still waste colors sometimes unconsciously so be careful with that and these colors uh, are expensive but if you're gonna be using like straight-up acrylics or something like that you know you don't really have to worry about it since it's not that expensive but you do keep it in mind you still don't want to waste paint even if they're cheap or expensive colors anyway so as you can see here I'm going in with the first pass we're gonna go in like two three times depending on how opaque I guess you want the color to be but I recommend you go in two passes with the main green let it dry for 15 minutes like on a fan or something or like an hour or something in the fresh air and then come back at it and then repaint on top of it it's important that you let it dry because it saves you a lot of hassle you know when you're going in with the marker as well it saves the marker from getting dry and all that so I recommend you let it rest for a good a while before you go in with another pass there's gonna be a lot of variations of green in the portal I'm gonna make a mid-toned green first for the overall color and then I'm gonna make a darker green and then a lighter green because those are sort of the three tones of greens that we're gonna be working with with the portal so for the darker green I used the main green that I had and then I added black to the green because I wanted to desaturate it a little bit but do keep in mind that black is not the main way to darken a color other than darkening the color you're also desaturating it so do keep that in mind if you don't want to completely desaturate it I recommend you add a very little portion of black which darkens the color but also keeps the purity a little bit of the green so it really does depend on what kind of you know color you want to go with there's a lot of logic to it do keep that in mind okay don't just go crazy with the mixing I've had a little bit of experience mixing colors so these are the sort of things that I normally keep in mind whenever I mix the colors just so that you know you control what it is that you're actually mixing if you want to darken the green I, I recommend you add in more blue and if you want to lighten the green I recommend you add in more yellow I recommend you start off with that if that green isn't dark enough for some reason or light enough uh, you can still add in black or white but keeping in mind that they do desaturate it but they do change the lightness or the value of the color. If you wanna make green, try your best to not add in too much blue. The color blue, the value is a lot darker than the yellow. You do wanna portion the blue a little bit. Uh, you want the yellow to be a lot more than the blue. You wanna keep in mind which color is the darker or lighter value, or which one is the most powerful. For example, the blue and red, they're very powerful colors. So if you wanna mix in any color with those, you wanna really portion those, not make them you know, equal to the, for example, the yellow. If you wanna make orange, which is red and yellow, 
you don't want to make half of red and half of yellow you know you want to make a little bit of red and a lot of yellow because the red quickly eats the yellow because yellow isn't as strong as the red so these are sort of things that you want to keep in mind as you're mixing in the colors all right so once we've added in the random patterns in the portal we're gonna go in with a white just to add a little bit of highlights or bubbles or whatever it is that's in the portal but yeah just little circles of white in the portal now i personally recommend you first polish out the portal before getting into rick and morty because it'll save you a whole lot of hassle later on all you have to do is just paint on top of that rather than you know worrying about both of them so first take care of the portal and then you can focus on rick and morty later on so once we've finished uh with the portal uh we're gonna go in with rick and morty the first thing that i did was with the chalk try to sketch out rick now you can't completely see it but it helps you kind of vaguely place in the figure even if it's not completely visible it still doesn't matter because we're not trying to be completely exact with the sketch and i don't know any materials that gives you a really precise sketch and also be not super permanent like the chalk which you can remove really easily so yeah i don't know if there's a material out there that i don't know about let me know you're not gonna be able to see much but it's still visible enough to help you place in the figure so once we've done the sketch i'm gonna go in with inking now this is the first inking pass it's not the like the final pass kind of making the drawing clear because we're gonna be painting on top of it when we start painting this we know where exactly to paint and then we're gonna re-ink it after we've painted on top of it so once we're done with the inking we're gonna go in with the coloring i went in first with the white since we're not gonna be mixing anything with the white straight out of the bottle but then like once we start getting into like the skin the hair you're gonna start you know mixing in colors for example the color that i use for the skin again you can produce it with just a straight up red and put in a lot of white which makes it more of a peach color but since i bought the tone just because i know i'm gonna be coloring a whole lot of skin tones i just straight up bought a skin toned uh, paint which saves me the trouble i didn't buy a green though which is probably something that i probably should do because uh yeah i'm gonna be needing green a lot but what i did is i mixed this in with a little bit of white and black which desaturates the color a little bit as well as changed the value of it just a tiny little hint of black like very little and then i got the skin tone of rick because rick's skin tone is kind of desaturated you might not notice it but i don't know it's easy for me to spot those sort of things and i know how to mix the colors and get the colors that i want so Now for the hair of Rick, I used the blue, obviously, but I also added a little bit of white since Rick's hair is more towards a very light blue, just blue with a little bit of white. And for the rest, yeah, just go with your instinct, mixing in colors and what colors to use with the three primary colors. You can pretty much get any colors that you want. Yeah, just know how to get the colors that you're looking for. And, you know, also keep in mind, it doesn't have to be always exact. It can be just vaguely the color and, you know, it'll be okay.
all right so for morty morty was actually pretty simple to make his skin tone i didn't really think about it i just went with straight out of the bottle the portrait pink that i have pretty simplistic for the yellow of the shirt as well i didn't really think about it i just went in with straight out of the bottle the only thing that is the quote-unquote problem i guess is the brown the brown of his hair if you have a brown perfect like it saves you the trouble but since i don't have the color brown i had to mix it in if you didn't know mixing in blue red and yellow together it creates the color brown so that's what i used for his hair now depending on what kind of brown you want to go with maybe a little bit more towards the yellow more towards the red that totally depends on you then you can start you know pulling from whatever color that's the most dominant just know what are your possibilities and know how to produce the colors that you want and you're golden if you want me to make a more in-depth video on mixing colors let me know i could make a video about it and then after i was done with the coloring i went in with the inking same process as rick just let it dry again once you've painted in all of the layers let it properly dry and then go in with the marker if it's dried enough it shouldn't really be a problem but if it's a little bit wet not completely wet but sort of dumping away it'll still dry off the marker so you want to be careful with that all right so that's it for the video let me know what you guys think if you guys have uh, suggestions for future mask designs let me know i am open to whatever suggestions that you may have and hopefully it was easy enough to follow hopefully you guys didn't have any trouble following the tutorial and uh yeah if you like this video please give the video a big thumbs up guys it helps me a ton to know that you guys are liking the videos if you're new to the channel definitely subscribe i make new videos every week and i'm definitely gonna be making a lot more custom mask videos so definitely subscribe to be a up to date with those and yeah thank you all for liking commenting, and subscribing remember to do what you love never stop drawing and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye